Okay, hello everyone. So in this video, I want to show how you could use um, a Python module called PySerial. You could use that with together with your Arduino programs so that you could uh, control basically data that goes into the serial monitor from your Arduino to your PC. And you could, you know, this allows you to gather data that the Arduino is gathering from a sensor and then you could basically put that data into file a file or something that you could save on your computer okay so let's get started here we won't be using the Arduino IDE instead we'll be using the Linux uh, package called uh, Arduino makefile and so I have my programs here in my sketchbook directory so if we go in here all you need really for this tutorial is just the Arduino uh, board I'm using an Arduino Uno um, you could also and you also need need the uh, USB connection to the your Arduino and and of course your computer so th those are really the things you need for this tutorial okay so um, I'm going to make a directory for this project. I'll call it Serial 2. Go to Photo Resist Resistor. Okay, so I'm going to copy this make file into the one we just made, Serial 2. Okay, so if we go now back to Serial 2. Now that we have our make file, we want to have our Arduino program file. So I'll call this serial.ino. First thing is void setup. And we want to we want to do serial.begin to begin the serial monitor. And our baud rate is of uh, 9600 Okay, so then that's it. That's that's all you need for the setup. Now we do the loop. And so for the loop, we're going to first come up with a variable called rand for short for random. And we're going to use the function or the the command random we want it to go up to 10 and then we uh, once we so once uh, the Arduino has come up with our random number we're going to write that to the serial and we do that with serial dot print ln and then whatever we want to print to the serial so it'll be rand our variable and then we want to delay for one second or a thousand milliseconds okay that's it so that's the that's our program here we save it um, so so yeah the all that's gonna happen here is we open up a serial port uh, then we generate a random number um, from 0 to 10 and then we print that number to the serial and then wait 10 seconds and the Arduino will keep looping through this so it'll be an infinite loop as long as it's uh, has power it'll keep writing random numbers to the serial alright so we save that exit okay so now you see we have our make file and our serial f uh, the ino file for our, our arduino okay so um, so now that we have that there's another thing we need we need the python file or program that is going to take the data in the serial monitor and then we could do whatever we want with it manipulate it um, like you could save it to another file you could um, use that data for other purposes we have to hook up the Arduino to our computer so through USB so I am connecting my Arduino right now and uh, make sure yours is connected as well and so for the Arduino make file package for Linux um, in order to upload 
to compile and upload your program to your Arduino you have to run sudo make upload clean okay so now we enter our password all right so it was successful uh, on this computer I don't have seri the Pi serial module installed uh, if you have uh, anaconda you could do anaconda install Pi serial so you could go to the anaconda cloud here and this line here is what you need to run so we copy that and we paste it here and upload it it's gonna take away it's gonna take a bit but uh anaconda is a very very easy way to install your libraries onto your computer okay so now that it is finished uh, installing we could run it now without uh, any issues let's see serial.py I think the issue might be this uh, directory called pycatch okay we have to remove it recursively okay so um, I actually just made this uh, pi serial 3.py file I had to pause the video I was uh, encountering a lot of issues um, and so I want to go I want to go over now the uh, pi serial program okay so um, so the first thing we're doing is we're importing serial and OS we're importing serial so that we could get all the data from the serial port that the Arduino is writing to and OS is being imported in so that we could uh, create uh, files and directories inside of uh, our computer um, so here we have sir uh, variable we set that equal to serial dot serial um, and then we have to specify the f first of all where which uh, serial port we're, we're talking about this is for uh, my Arduino um, we have to specify the uh, the rate of information transfer and we also have to specify the timeout uh, time I set that equal to just one second the next thing is uh, we do an if uh, what I did was here here was uh, do an if statement so first of all if um, it's gonna say if the serial is open or if the serial is not open because if we set that equal to zero so that's like false so if the serial is not open then we're going to open it it's gonna print out the serial was not open so it is now open um, otherwise we're just gonna print that the serial was open the whole time um, next step is data is generated and put into the files so, okay so so while the serial monitor is open we are going to read each of the lines coming in from the Arduino we call that the thing um, here I commented out this uh, this is eraser right now we don't need that and so now once we got our thing our data we're going to um, we're going to first of all create um, so if we're gonna create a document a, a directory within our uh, working directory and we're gonna call that data uh, we do that with uh, os.path.isdir and so we say that if this directory is, does not exist then we're gonna we're gonna use os.makeDir and the name of the directory data to make the data directory and then um, we're going to change the directory we're gonna so we're gonna basically go inside of that directory da data directory we just made um, then we're going to test to see if um, if this file here does not exist and so if it does not exist we're going to open it 
with the open command and we're gonna call it data.txt and we're gonna give it uh, the permission to append values to it and so outside of this of these if statements we're going to say we're gonna open our data file and um, append to it so we, we are basically duplicate that line here okay so then the next step is data format so we want to format our data and uh, after playing around with some of the uh, how the um, this pi serial um, module prints out the lines you get these uh, some weird format issues so uh, basically just made this uh, for for loop to uh, test to see which which of the characters that are coming in from uh, the uh, serial monitor are are integers because what we, we want to keep the integers um, so you could use this for for loop um, and then we're going to test if um, this thing number two which which I have here we're gonna test if thing number two is an integer and if it is we're going to uh, we're gonna print it to our screen in a new line and then after that after we're done with our program we co close the uh, serial monitor okay so if we save this and we exit out um, so now we have our serial dot ino. Okay, so that's our program here for our, our our Arduino. It's going to generate random numbers and display them on the serial monitor every one second. And now we have also our Python uh, program called PySerial three dot pi. It's this long line of code uh, which I will include in the description and uh, and we have our make file which kind of just points the computer to where the Arduino is located where all the significant uh, Arduino make file files are located and so the and so um, I'm already running the I uh, already uploaded the serial.ino instructions to the Arduino so right now it is connected to my computer and it is generating random numbers um, so now I want to run PySerial to show you that it's going to create a directory called data and then it's going to create um, a file inside that directory called data.txt where it will write all the numbers from uh, coming from the Arduino into that file and so we do that by by running sudo python and the name of the file pi serial three dot pi press enter you can see so it says the serial was open this whole time and now it is printing out um, the random numbers coming out of the Arduino and we let that run for a little bit and I'm gonna pause it by control C uh, now you see we have our data we have our data file or doc doc uh, directory there. Now if we go inside of the, the of uh, data, we also have our text data txt file. If I cat it, you'll see it has the numbers that were printed on the screen over here, basically. And so, um, yeah, so that's basically how you could use how you could use PySerial to communicate with uh, Arduino. And the cool thing is, is that since we gave the data.txt file the uh, append appending permission, if you want to collect more data, you just run it again. So you run sudo python pi serial three dot pi. Um, so now you see um, there's some new numbers coming out. Okay, we pause it. If we go back into data and cat the data file you'll see that it's longer than before so basically all the data is uh, being appended to the file every time we run our Arduino um, I mean our pi serial um, file which program which has the pi serial 
module. Okay, so yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching.